we are at the Dueling Oak. You see the street sign, and there's the oak. This is going back to Florida Territorial days. Dueling Oak is legend is, is that people would meet here to hold the duels. To get to the Dueling Oak, you have to go up uh, from Mahan or Highway 90, up Old Magnolia Road. It'll turn into Clay Graded Road. Go up the uh, dirt road a couple miles until you get to this big oak tree in the middle of the roadway. Territorial Florida was very violent and there's a series of duels fought between the uh, political elite from, uh, you know, I'm going to cover the history of them. And the uh, plantation owners were better at killing each other than they were killing Seminoles during the Second Seminole War. Colonel Parrish shot uh, Lieutenant Ward for disobeying an order. And I'll show you Colonel Parrish's grave. Okay, this is the Parrish Bird Cemetery near Lake Miccosukee near Monticello. It's an antebellum cemetery. Has some very old gravestones. The uh, owners of the property, it's on private property, have done very well to keep it up. And uh, anyway, there's uh, one grave over here that I'll show you. I believe this is the grave of Richard Parrish. And he was a colonel in the Florida militia at the beginning of the Second Seminole War. So uh, Richard Parrish, he was born in New York um, in 1774. He died in 1838. Uh, so uh, he only uh, lived two years after the killing of Ward. What happened at Fort Drain is that he had ordered Ward to be a officer of the guard and Ward had done a previous tour, so he refused. And so uh, Parrish and Ward got in an argument and uh, Ward, I guess, had three pistols on him, so he's going to shoot the first person who tries to make him move, so it wasn't his turn. And um, Anyway, uh, the captain, Augustus Alston, tried to intervene and tell Ward to, you know, put the pistols away and go back in his tent. And, but anyway, Colonel Parrish, you know, things escalated. Parrish walked up and shot and killed Ward. And so if a court of inquiry was held at Fort King and Parrish was exonerated, uh, it was a unanimous decision. It said the court is the unanimous opinion that Lieutenant Ward was killed by Colonel Parrish and said Parrish being in legal execution of his office a, was fully justified of the circumstances of the case in doing so. It would be impossible con to conceive a case which would be more entirely justified of an officer in command in taking the laws in his own hands, his legal and necessary authority as commanding officer was defied and resisted, and he took an unusual legal military means to repress resistance by ordering the arrest and confinement of Lieutenant Ward, his seizure and disarming repeatedly no one obeyed his order, so he was obliged, therefore, to execute the order himself. In doing so, uh, Ward was killed. And uh, Ward's brother came up to seek revenge, and I guess Parrish had passed away. So it was uh, the Ward and Alston duel. After Colonel Parrish had killed Lieutenant Ward, uh, he went up to uh, family land, I think around Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and he kind of disappeared from the story after that. He died uh, 1838 or 1839. And uh, anyway, the brother of Ward, George Ward, was very prominent with the Union Bank in Tallahassee, and he blamed uh, Ward's captain, Augustus Alston, for the death of his brother, William, so George Ward and Augustus Alston fought a duel, and it was, really went to a standstill. Uh, it was going to be a duel to the death, but uh, George Ward was uh, injured so much he passed out from uh, loss of blood. So it was a draw. 
so they were going to have a rematch, but the rematch never happened. Meanwhile, while George Ward was recovering from his injuries, Augustus Alston, his uh, challenger, charged, uh, charged uh, Lee Reed to a duel. So General Lee Reed and Augustus Alston faced each other off in a duel, and uh, Alston was killed. Uh, the terms of that duel was uh, 50 uh, paces with Jaeger rifles there, and uh, Augustus Alston misfired when he turned around, and Lee Ro Reed pointed point blank and killed Alston right there. And that starred another series of duels, because Alston's family wanted revenge against Lee Reed for the killing of Augustus. So they called forth uh, uh, the brother, uh, Willis Alston, and he eventually killed Lee Reed. And let's go see Lee Reed's grave. Okay, this is the coal store in uh, Tallahassee, hidden in the parking lot and back. It's a cemetery, and we cannot go beyond the gates here because it's locked. This is the Bradford Epps Cemetery, Bradford, Pine, Bradford Family Cemetery at Pine Hill Plantation. And there's some very uh, significant graves. Okay, there's a Confederate memorial stone there, but uh, in the back, see if I can zoom in, there's a uh, VA stone to Richard Bradford Jr. Okay, it's uh, barely, sorry, here, barely see it back there. It's that VA stone in the back. He was the first officer from Florida killed during the uh, Civil War, I think on a battle with Santa Rosa Island. And beyond that, those stone sarcophagus, one of them holds the body of Lee Reed. General Lee Reed was killed in a duel. And a little bit about that. Is that Lee Reed was uh, challenged to a duel with Augustus Alston. And to make the story short, he thought he was going to be killed, but Alston misfired, so Lee Reed killed Alston. Well, Alston's family didn't like that and sent Willis Alston to kill Lee Reed, which uh, he tried once and shot him and didn't kill him. Came back and shot him again with a shotgun and uh, knifed him in the street of Tallahassee and then killed him. Uh, but that put an end to dueling in Tallahassee because the people were so shocked about what happened, and that was about 1840. Okay, I just checked my notes. Lee Reed was killed on April 27, 1841. He was just elected as the uh, Speaker of the House in the Florida Legislature, so it was a pretty big shock. And he was also famous from the Battle of Withlacoochee, and the rescue of uh, the blockhouse on the Withlacoochee. So he gained quite a bit of notoriety during the Second Seminole War. And he was an important person in Florida history and until he got killed in the duel, or uh, after the duel, I should say. And the bloodshed that is all too common in the streets of Tallahassee during Territorial Day.